2015 James Beard Foundation Awards, and he's joining us this morning. He's also the owner of Crest Restaurant in Deland. He's also a math professor at Stetson. Is there anything he can't do? Hari Palapaka is joining us this morning. Yay! We love Hari. Thank you. Great thank to you. see you. Likewise. Thanks for having First, me. First, congratulations. Thank you so much. It's such a huge honor. This is the it fourth is. time you have made this list. Yes, which, it is. I mean, it's very prestigious. It How is. does it make you feel? It makes me feel like I'm dreaming. And actually, that's a nice segue into my little book, Dreaming in Space. Is that shameless or what? Oh, I'm but, impressed. I'm impressed. But, uh, you know, it's, it's unreal because uh, we're in a small town, little Deland, Florida. You've been to us. Thanks yes. for visiting us. Oh, it's so good. So to be, to be picked from that little niche in Volusia County on this national stage is really a big deal. Oh, it's awesome. All right, let's talk about the cookbook because you did bring several copies of it this morning. I did. And you're just out with this, Dreaming in Spice. It's beautiful, by Thank the you. way. Who, Thank who you. published this for you? So it's self-published. My oh, wife and I wrote you. parts of it. I wrote most of it. I designed it. And we've got a great printer in town, the Yale Printer Printing Company. Kept everything local. Uh, you know, it's filled with stories from my life about food, what inspired me, I think, to bring me to this point in my life about academics and food and what have you. And of course, it's also a cookbook with lots and lots of recipes. And Jennifer's done an amazing job pairing every recipe with a, an exclusive wine. She's good like she's that. The, she's the master slash mistress of that. <laughs> I love it. All right, I want to, I want to thumb through yes, it. Yes, please do. Right. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. So you've, you've even bought all the pictures but, and everything. No, it's a real book. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. So how can our viewers, if our viewers are interested in picking this up, I, I assume you sell them at the restaurant, right? I have not yet started that. Okay, it's such okay. a limited printing. Uh, we had a great uh, launch in, in Jalan that was sold out. And then we're going to have another book signing event at the East End Market this Sunday nice. at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So if you're in Orlando, please visit us. Uh, if you've not Coney been to the Drive, East End Market, by the way, you know it's such place. a cool place. It's, it's inspiring. Really it's, it's what Central Florida really should be about. Yeah. Oh, I love it there. Yeah, so go see Hari. Pick up your cookbook at the Thank East you. End Market. Uh, and you, I love that you've also brought us yes. Indian Irish inspired dish this and, morning. And British as well. And British, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> in, in honor of St. Patrick's in Day, right? In honor of St. Patrick's okay. Day, in honor of what's in the book, in honor of my heritage. So, you know, Bangers and Mash is typically a pub fair, and it's not necessarily Irish, but it's very, very popular pub fair. So this is my take on Bangers and Mash uh, with lots of components that can be found in the book. The mash here consists of grits. You know, we're kind of sort of are known for our grits at Crust Restaurant. Uh, the bangers are house-made bratwurst made by my sous chef Derek uh, with pork and chicken, simply grilled. The sauce is a tikka masala sauce. If you didn't know this, uh, chicken tikka masala is the national dish of Great Britain. Oh. It is what it is. I'm sorry, guys. It is beautiful. what it is. It's and the, beautiful. the green components, we've got some arugula and pistachio pesto. And on top is some local micro arugula. So it's a it's a cacophony of flavors. Uh, you know, if I you're drinking, that. if you're drinking pints and pints of Guinness, there's not many more things you want to eat after that. Trust me. Do you have this on the menu right now? I don't have this on the menu. I thought of this this morning. I'm in the kitchen. I go, what do you I do on this so show? You got now. You got to put it on the menu. Got, you taste it. Tell me if I need to put it on the menu. And you didn't bring me a fork. Well, I know. Uh, <laughs> what kind of place do you have here? Okay. So, so here's what I'm gonna do. Yes. So I'm gonna try it in the commercial break, okay? okay great. And then I'll tell you. Yes, you got. You gotta, you gotta put this on the menu. Sounds great. Does that sound, sound good? Be honest. All right, wait, oh wait. You get it right here. Go ahead. Walk in there. Look at that. Nice. Josh has got this spoon. Okay, all right, ready? Here a we go. A little bit of everything. Okay. I don't know. How many Let's get the sauce? Let's not forget the house made ricotta cheese. All right, ready? Okay, here we go. This looks amazing. Yeah, you get a little bite of everything and you're so good. Okay, ready? Mmm. Oh, yes. Breakfast of champions. That's heaven on a plate. Thank you. Put this on the menu. Okay, done. <laughs> Go see Cross in Jalan. You're amazing. Thank you, Amy. He's in market. When's the book signing? Four o'clock this Sunday. Four to six. Four to six p.m. Please come right. by. I've got lots of extra copies for signage. Go see Hari in Orlando. Thank right. you. Thank you for having me. You're the best. Thank Cross you. Restaurant Jalan. So good. Thank you. John, I'll send it over to you. What is it?